it is shaping up to be one of the most complicated holiday weather patterns that we have seen in years. A significant stratospheric warming event is unfolding high above the Arctic right now, and that is already starting to disrupt the polar jet stream in ways we do not typically see this early in the year. You see, when the stratosphere warms up this quickly, it really weakens the polar vortex, and this basically opens the door for Arctic air, snow, and the chance of ice to come pouring into the United States. That stratospheric warming is helping to carve out a deeper trough over the western and central United States, and that is where things really start to get messy. The west becomes a battleground for incoming waves of energy, bringing rain to the coast and heavy mountain snow in the Rockies, all of it fueled by that disrupted jet stream. As that energy slides to the east, warmer air surges up from the Gulf, creating a sharp temperature contrast that could ignite thunderstorms across parts of the plains and the south. But here's the real kicker. If the polar jet stream buckles way down to the south, colder air spilling from Canada would seriously raise the odds of snow or even ice in some areas across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. This would set up a disruptive storm that would impact major areas like Chicago, Milwaukee, and even Minneapolis. However, if that polar vortex stays just a little farther north, the whole pattern flips towards a cleaner, drier Arctic blast, bringing a sharp cold with far lower chances of any meaningful snow or ice, and we would only be talking about scattered flurries at the most. And for my friends on the East Coast, timing is gonna be absolutely everything. If the jet stream dips farther south, we are looking at a much stormier and colder Thanksgiving setup. If it stays a little tighter, rain and snow could still be a possibility, and gusty winds are definitely still very much on the table. The point is, this Thanksgiving week's weather is going to completely depend on the atmosphere and how it responds to that major stratospheric warming event up in the Arctic. So now, let's dive deeper into the day-by-day -day forecast to see what we can expect throughout the entire Thanksgiving week and figure out who is going to see snow, who is going to see rain, and who is going to get a taste of some brutal cold. Let's talk more about it. And I want to start by breaking down our weather pattern that is going to be impacting the United States all through Thanksgiving week, as this is what will directly impact where we see snow, cold weather, and even severe weather. So let's begin with what is happening over the weekend. As we head into Sunday and Monday, we will have a large storm system located across the desert southwest, and we are actually going to have a pretty favorable setup for at least scattered severe storms on Monday and Tuesday, which will be primarily across parts of Oklahoma and Texas. So unfortunately, if you have any sort of Thanksgiving travel plan starting on Monday or Tuesday, there could be some serious problems if you are over in the southern plains. This storm system will continue to track to the east as we go into Monday and Tuesday, and we may see some showers and thunderstorms even as far north as Indiana, Ohio, and Illinois. But take a look at this other storm system back over in Montana late Monday. These two different storm systems are actually going to collide as we head into Tuesday. And what is going to happen is, once these two merge, we are going to have a threat of showers and thunderstorms on the southern and eastern side of the storm system, which will be primarily across the Ohio Valley and the southeast. But on the northern side of this system, across the upper Midwest and the northern plains, there will be a threat of heavy snowfall. So yes, we are going to be talking about some significant snow right before Thanksgiving, which could certainly cause some more travel concerns. By Wednesday and Thursday, this storm system is going to be sitting right over the Great Lakes, which means on Thanksgiving Day itself, some of you will be dealing with heavy snowfall, and we will talk more about that here in just a moment. I think that is going to be a primary concern across the Great Lakes, with lake effect snow coming into play. The other huge story is that as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, we are forecasting a massive dip in our jet stream, just as we alluded to a couple of minutes ago. And this is going to bring frigid Arctic air down from Canada. So many of you are going to have a very cold Thanksgiving, especially if you are in the Midwest or the Northern Plains. Now, if you are in the Ohio Valley, the Northeast, or really anywhere back through the Southern Plains, this is kind of a wildcard area as of right now. And that is mainly due to the fact that this is an area where we do not exactly know how far our jet stream is going to dip down to the South, and if it will arrive in time for Thanksgiving Day, but even if you do not feel the impacts on Thanksgiving Day, Black Friday and even into the weekend are likely going to be cold, especially in the Ohio Valley and the Northeast. And then, as we look to the first week of December, that looks like a pretty active period in the United States, where we will have at least one big storm system and more than likely another couple of shots of cold air. 
Now let's switch gears and talk more about the rain, the snow, and even the potential for severe weather that we are going to have throughout Thanksgiving week. And one of the nice things that many of you are going to be happy about is that snow is a real possibility. This includes the risk of heavy snow. And so, anytime really during Thanksgiving week, this will be primarily around Wednesday, Thursday, and even Friday, we have at least a slight risk of heavy snowfall, which means at least a 20% chance. That includes much of the Midwest, including Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Chicago, and Detroit. And then we have moderate risks in place, which are about a 50% chance. That is across the upper peninsula of Michigan, also Western New York, and as well as Northwestern Pennsylvania near Lake Erie. And that would be because of some powerful lake effect snow bands that would be in play. And even across the Rockies, we also have a slight risk of snowfall. And that would be, again, on the heavier side of things, anywhere from Colorado back into Montana and Idaho. So there is some good news for those of you that love winter. It is coming at a great time when a lot of you will have time off. Now, we have a lot more to talk about in this forecast. Let's go into more detail with our future radar for the next seven days, beginning with what is happening this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. We will have some showers out there, mainly along the East Coast, and a little bit of snowfall across the upper Midwest, but nothing to really write home about here. Just some flurries and very light snow late Saturday and early Sunday. By late Sunday and into Monday, we are going to have a big storm system rolling across the Southern Plains. This is going to be our big story to start the week. So if you have any travel plans for Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, this is what you need to watch for, because we are going to have some severe weather potential across Oklahoma and Texas on Sunday and Monday. We will also have a threat of some snowfall across parts of Colorado, and Denver might finally see its first snow of the season late Sunday and early Monday. And that is very late, by the way, for any sort of fall season. We usually see snow way earlier than this for Denver. We are over one month behind schedule for Denver right now. By the early portion of next week, around Monday and Tuesday, we will continue to see the threat of at least some showers and thunderstorms. Even a risk of severe weather cannot be ruled out for Monday across Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana. And then Tuesday, that is when these two storm systems are going to merge. So we are going to have one Alberta clipper diving down, and then we will have a storm system coming in from the Pacific, and these two will merge on Tuesday, creating basically this one large storm system. It is not going to be bringing a whole lot in terms of a major winter storm or even a significant severe weather outbreak, but it is going to be large enough to the point where we are going to have multiple problems on our hands across the United States, including the threat of higher wind speeds. And that is going to be especially true where our isobars are really close together. So you can see these really tight isobars in the northern plains. That essentially means we will have some high winds in this area on Tuesday. This could cause some problems for any aviation travelers as well. And the same thing goes for back over here in the Ohio Valley. While all that is happening, we could still see some strong to severe storms on Tuesday across the Ohio Valley and the Dixie Alley, and then snowfall will start to ramp up back over in the far northern plains on Tuesday. Then, as we cruise into the later part of Tuesday, that storm system is just going to continue its slow dance, swirling across the northern United States. We'll be watching for more rain trickling along the east coast, while snow continues to dust the far northern plains, with most of it being on the light to moderate side. The really heavy stuff, the jackpot snowfall, is going to be up in parts of Saskatchewan and Alberta on Tuesday. Then, rolling into Wednesday, our eyes will be on Minnesota, North Dakota, and even northern Wisconsin for another round of snowfall, while those showers and thunderstorms just refuse to leave the southeast even on Wednesday. So, heads up, if you're traveling next Wednesday, it's looking like the southeast is going to have a very busy and wet weather pattern. And then by Thursday, folks, the northeast is shaping up to be an absolute mess. It really does not look pleasant for Thursday's weather anywhere in New England. It looks like it's pretty much going to be an all-day rain event, now, things could shift over the next few days, but this has been the consistent story from the models pointing toward a very soggy and damp Wednesday and Thursday across New England. And then, get this, the snow is going to start cranking up over Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, which signals that classic lake effect snow machine is firing up. That means heavy snowfall is a real possibility right on Thanksgiving and into Black Friday. That could definitely throw a wrench in your plans if you're thinking about any Black Friday shopping. At the very same time, the Pacific Northwest will be wrestling with its own set of weather troubles. Heavy snow piling up in the higher elevations and a soaking rain across the West Coast, especially in Oregon and Washington on Thursday night. 
This, of course, means any outdoor Thanksgiving plans could be in jeopardy. As we head into Friday and Saturday, we'll keep tracking that snow across the Northeast, and then things get a lot fuzzier as we look toward next weekend and the start of the following week. Right now, the global forecast system model is hinting at a major storm system right around the beginning of December, but we can't lock that in just yet. A lot can change in that amount of time, but if there's one big takeaway here, it's that we are in for a very active week filled with rain, thunderstorms, and snow, which is undoubtedly going to cause some travel headaches for many of you across the United States. Now, something else that's about to do a big flip-flop over the next seven days are the temperatures, and we're looking at our temperature anomalies. To make it super simple, I've put the numbers right on the map so you can see just how much warmer or colder it's going to be in your neck of the woods. This weekend, we're enjoying temperatures a solid 10 to 20 degrees above normal in the southeast and the northern plains, while New England is sitting right around average. But things are about to change as we start next week. We'll see that really warm weather continue to build across the Great Plains on Monday, with many spots feeling 15 to 20 degrees warmer than they should be. Then on Tuesday and Wednesday, all that warmth gets a big shove to the east. And what that means is, on the backside of that huge low-pressure system, a wave of cold air is going to come flooding in. It's going to settle across the Rockies and the Pacific Northwest, bringing most areas down to about 5 to 15 degrees below average. Then, late Wednesday and into Thursday, a big chunk of that cold air is going to plunge right into the Midwest and the Northern Plains. Temperatures are set to plummet by as much as 20 to 30 degrees in just a 24-hour window. So, it's going to get chilly very fast as a powerful cold front slices its way through the region, and that will dive down into places like the Southern Plains as well, where many areas will drop by as much as 5 to 10 degrees below average. By late Thursday and into Friday, we'll hit our coldest point, which ironically is going to be on Thanksgiving Day itself. That's when most of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley and the Northern Plains will be feeling about 5 to 10 degrees colder than your typical Thanksgiving. So, all in all, we're not talking about a historic blast of Arctic air like we saw earlier this month, where places were upwards of 30 degrees below average, but, nevertheless, it's going to be a pretty brisk Thanksgiving holiday. It's definitely shaping up to be below average for a large part of the United States. And by Saturday, we can even see parts of the Ohio Valley and the Mid-Atlantic sitting at a chilly 15 degrees below average. Now, where things get really interesting, is by early December, we could potentially see a genuine Arctic blast. And I'm talking about temperatures plunging 30 to 40 degrees below average. That is certainly on the table for the first week of December. It's still a bit too far out to pinpoint exactly when or where it will hit and all that good stuff. But I have a strong feeling we're gonna see some seriously cold air during the first couple of weeks of December. So you'll definitely wanna buckle up for that. And here's an early peek at our high temperatures for Thanksgiving day. It is going to be chilly out there, so make sure you bundle up, and if you're bringing any turkeys inside, make sure they stay toasty warm as well. As always, thank you all so much for tuning in to today's forecast. If you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to check out today's sponsor, Chime. You can find them at the very top link in the description below. I really want to thank them for sponsoring today's forecast, and a huge thank you to all the amazing sponsors we have on this channel. It would not be possible to do what we do here without every single one of them. And again, thank you all so much for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.